Flooded in Fort Myers, Florida, as Hurricane Idalia approaches the state's west coast. The storm, now a Category 2, is bringing strong winds and a risk of tornadoes along with it. More than two dozen counties have issued evacuation orders as the storm is expected to get stronger. Storm is expected to officially make landfall tomorrow morning. U.S. Coast Guard Air Station crews in Clearwater are already preparing for search and rescue missions. Total of three Red Cross volunteers from Rhode Island will be in Florida for at least two weeks, depending on the damage. Now, here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, the wind with Adalia now up to 110 miles per hour. We'll get to that storm in just a second. Uh, gray, damp uh, showers, drizzle and fog outside right now. Take a look at the satellite and radar composite, and you can see some elements of green and little specks of yellow and orange indicating some slightly steadier rain showers along the south shore. We'll continue to have this sort of off and on throughout the overnight. Uh, also watching a system uh, through the Great Lakes right in here. This will arrive on Wednesday, and this will help to enhance a few passing showers of thunderstorms coming up for Wednesday. I don't think Wednesday is one of those days where it's just like raining every single hour. There'll be dry periods as well. In fact, very late in the day, I do expect a little sunshine to be breaking through. All right, Franklin, well out in the Atlantic with winds of 125 and unfortunately, Idalia getting stronger. We can see that on the satellite photo, the eye trying to form right in there. Tampa, and this is what we call the Big Bend of Florida. Major hurricane landfalls in this part of Florida actually extremely rare. Quite some time before that is uh, we've had a, a landfall in this particular location. The Doppler radar, you know, the hurricane is within Doppler radar range. So this is all precipitation wrapping around the center of the storm. But of course, it's not just rain and wind. It is storm surge when you're pushing ocean water against the coastline and the potential storm surge forecast for the Big Bend of Florida. This area in red is right here. Now, this is north of Tampa, Cedar Key, representing storm surges, perhaps 10 to 15 feet of water being pushed along the coastline in that part of Florida. Here's the wider view. The center of the storm right in here, Category 2, winds of 110. Tampa North, all this red area is a hurricane warning. To the south is the tropical storm warning, making landfall as a Cat 3 hurricane tomorrow morning. And then going back out over the Atlantic by the end of the week as a weakening tropical storm well south of New England. So categories of hurricanes from 1 to 5, 5 being extreme, anticipated to be a Category 3. When you look at the storm surge potential, up to 12 feet of more. And, and quite simply, it's just this push of water against the coastline. So the, the higher the category, the more intense the storm surge. Now, we're not forecasting a 5, but at least a 3 at landfall by tomorrow morning. Meantime, closer to home, waking up to clouds, very humid tomorrow, some fog with patchy drizzle and a passing shower. Temperatures uh, heading up into the upper 70s by 11 o'clock in the morning. Now, by the second half of the day during the afternoon, and specifically mid to late afternoon, it'll actually turn partly sunny. It'll actually finish the day with a bit of sunshine. But even during the afternoon, keep your umbrella on standby as a passing shower or thunderstorm can't be ruled out. Feel as though it's going to be many hours during the afternoon where it's actually dry, but a shower or a thunderstorm can't be ruled out. Stay out of the water tomorrow. Uh, high surf, dangerous rip currents, uh, a few scattered showers at the beaches, and we wake up to clouds and fog in the morning, a little brightening in the afternoon. Bay forecast has the wind. It's out of the southwest, 5 to 10 knots. Visibility reduced during the morning, improving in the afternoon, but even during the afternoon, boaters, be mindful, slight chance of that passing thunderstorm. How's this for a decent stretch of weather? Sunshine, breezy, cool or dry on Thursday. Look at Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Labor Day, Monday. Thank you. I think we deserve that. In fact, a nice warming trend by Sunday and Monday, Labor Day Monday, with temperatures in the 80s.